Hey guys, what's going on? Temporal Secure again, bringing you another gameplay commentary. And today I was in uh, matchmaking with my friend Allure or Malik. And we had a pretty interesting game. I'm gonna start it up here. And uh, by the way, a my friend did an interview on me for his uh, class. So if you want to check that out, it's about 37 40 minutes long. It's on my YouTube channel. I'll just uploaded it today. And. He pretty much just asked me questions about the culture of esports and just my opinion on the whole thing, the whole shebang since it started from the Atari to now with the Xbox One, PS4, and all that jazz. So if you want to check that out, it's on my channel. But without further ado, we're going to start this gameplay. Alright. Slayer. So, looking at the teams here on the red team. We've got Ryan Abe runs, and by the way, that's not the actual Ryan Abe, it's just a poser. He is actually a pretty decent player. I played against him a bunch of times, and he's pretty good with the sniper, but that's not the real Ryan Abe. Um, and he's just got three random teammates on his team. And then on my team, I've got me and Malik, and then uh, Voidsick and Ripple. So here we go. Alright, so up to start here, what I always do is I um, really just like to watch the mania and make sure they don't go for those rockets with those, uh, or that camo and uh, just push shots or whatever, but I see my teammates are, uh, they're doing pretty good on protecting it, so I just push a jump up and uh, get a nice headshot on the guy. Should have been able to kill that guy, but wasn't able to, so he's going to be coming off the respawn here. And I'm uh, I'm texting or I'm fixing something I don't know, and then uh, something happens here. We're so about to see here. We go black screen, and uh, let me pause it here for a second for you guys. If you look on our team, our two teammates quit. So now we are in a two v four situation, and we are down by three, and the red team has everything pretty much so let's see how me and Malik here deal with this alright so coming out of the black screen I'm on in a fight with this piece of guy I kill him and I put some nice shots on my noob and uh, unfortunately I missed a couple shots there so he's gonna be able to take me out right, so I'm gonna come off this uh, respawn off court I see Malik he's pushing rocks so I want to help him he has a sniper and I'm gonna push in the ring here. We do go black screen again. The host changes once again, and um, everything's up. So I know that I'm trying to get this camo. Unfortunately, I didn't know that there was another teammate there, and I thought right there that I killed the camo guy and his friend to get the double kill. But the camo guy, as you see there, is still on the wall, and he takes down my buddy Malik. So now we have a camo guy roaming around with a sniper, which is never good at all. But I'm able to kill a guy ring one. Who had the sniper too? There's like two of your snipers right now since uh, weapons spawned two times in a row. I'm able to get that nice nade and uh, kill that guy on the big rock. See this guy in our car, put some shots in, able to clean him up. I'm one shot, I tried to hide behind the rock, but they do have a sniper on the bun. So, right now, we know that there's a uh, random sniping in our hut, so we gotta kill him. We're just trying to make sure that he backs down, so. Uh, we have a chance to maybe push out of base or just figure out something. I'm weak here. I'm gonna hide. I don't know. I do not know the times at all for these weapons because it went black screen twice. I do know camo comes up at uh, 12 minutes even, and then so on and so forth. But uh, nice nade on myself, making myself a one shot, and pretty much uh, fucking myself an answer. So I'm gonna come off respawn. See that Malik needs help, and I save his ass right there. This guy is randomly jetpacking the air, get an easy double kill. See the car guy, and I choke on the triple, unfortunately. And then I'm trying to kill Ryan up here, because he has a sniper, but his teammates get a good spawn and start teabagging me. And yet, do they know that that is the worst thing that you can do to me? Because when you teabag me, you, you just lit, light a fire under my ass, because I can't stand people who teabag when they're in the predicament of 2v4 or when they're losing. Just, Making themselves look like douchebags and assholes and uh, pretty much embarrassing themselves, so... <sighs> Never do that when you're playing against me, because I will just destroy you if you teabag me, if you talk shit to me, it just motivates me. And, um, anyway here. Malik having a rough game, he only has one kill right now, so... 
Whenever you have a teammate or teammates, oh, there's pauses right here. Whenever you have teammates or teammates um, that uh, isn't doing that good in the game, never tell them to um, step it up. Never like don't don't even mention it because they have to fix it themselves. They have to be like, hey, like like Malik. He needs to be like, yo, Malik. You need to step it up. You need to get it together, uh, change your play style, stick with tempers a little bit more. Because when you mention it, that's when they're going to think about it a little bit more. Some players are really like men mentally strong and they will not think about it the whole time. They'll just play and call out and all this stuff, which is really what Malik does. He didn't mention it one time. He was just focused, calm, collective. And um, you'll see as this game progresses that Malik really catches fire and he does do a lot better. So... Just a little advice, never talk shit to your teammates when they're doing bad because it's just going to make them play a lot worse. Trust me, I've been in those situations a lot. Anyway, we're going to unpause this game here. I'm going to come off the respawn. Camo did just spawn. Unfortunately, we are in no position since we only have two players and they have four to get camo. So this whole game is pretty much going to get camo. I got sniper now, so I'm trying to make something happen with this. I'm trying to find that camo guy. But um, I do hear Malik's call and get a nice headshot on that uh, jump up guy, kill the sniper, and unfortunately I do miss that um, somewhat easy shot on the camera guy. So I'm going to be killed by the guy on our flag. Malik, um, he does finish that guy off, and I'm going to challenge Ryan up here. And uh, even though he is a pretty good player, he is one, predictable, and two, he just... He should have just not even challenged that. There's no reason. He has the lead. I, he knows that I wouldn't have um, chased him. And now he's mad at me and he's going to teabag me. <laughs> um, but he's got a peace shooter. He's sniping. Me and Malik have to double team him. Uh, I think we kill him there. And then I'm just I'm just constantly putting shots on everybody um, to back them up. Because that that's pretty much the only thing you can do in a 2v4 situation. You have to play like you are the other two players. You have to put in like more shots than you usually do if you're looking at a 4 situation. But I'm one shot here, I gotta stay alive. There's a guy in our hut. I'm just trying to hide behind rocks. Just gotta play a patient and um, you know if if you're playing good, you know, and you take advantage of the other team's mistakes, you should win. It doesn't matter if it's a 1v4 or a 4v4. So I'm digging this jump because I know they're around that area, they're around that courtyard area and stuff. I know Cam was coming up in about 20 seconds, 12 seconds, somewhere around there. I see the p shooter guy, get a nice headshot, nice call up from the league, and I'm trying to help him out, he gets a kill right there. There's one more guy on our flag and this guy chasing me ring one, and unfortunately I'm going to die there. And they're going to pick up another camera. So I'm going to come up and respawn, my teammate to one shot. So I. We're both one shot now, so there's nothing we can do really in that situation other than try to stay alive. Leek does a good job staying alive, but I don't. And um, he needs help right now. I'm trying to see if the other team, if the other teammates on uh, the red team are going to be pushing. But um, they do have that camo there, and he gets an easy headshot on me. Right, right there on the queer red spawn. I. Um, could have pushed under the car to the jump and flanked them, but I knew that Ryan dude was on our flag sniping, and I was worried that he was going to see me, and he did have that camo um, still, I think, and even if he didn't have that camo, um, he would have got a pretty good headshot on me, because I know he's pretty good with the sniper. So, uh, instead I helped Malik, and we were able to get a kill there, and we are only down by 7 now, which is a pretty small deficit in a 2v4 situation. So, Rhino, he, uh, gets killed by me there. I take, I take, uh, away his possession of the sniper, and I get a nasty out DMR on Master. So, really, anytime you do that, it just motivates the team, and it just, it makes you believe that in a 2v4 situation, you can win. And this whole, this whole entire game, we were just so motivated, we wanted to win. We never thought, it, it, like, maybe at the beginning when our two teammates grew, we thought, oh, wow, we're going to lose. But after we started getting some kills, like, even right now, we know we're going to win. There's no way. We know how bad they're playing. We know how predictable they are. And as long as we just keep doing stuff like that, um, we'll win. 
So all three point here. I call to Malik that there's a guy above him. He waits, he gets the easy kill there. And um that guy is a warrior, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure if I just shot his shoulder there or neck, but anyway. Right here, Leak's gonna hide, uh, run the pillars. I'm trying to protect him. I call out that there's a guy dropping down. He didn't see Malik, and we were able to double team that guy. So this is the one thing you gotta do. That's the one thing you gotta do um, when you're playing people. You have to stick with your teammates. You have to play off of each other, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're playing so perfectly in this game. It's ridiculous. Look at that, man. Oh my god. And I'm gonna hide now. He's gonna protect me. And look, look at that. Look at that, man. I'm the bait, and he is just easily putting shots on him. And we're only down by three now. It doesn't matter what they do. So, Malik is taking down. I get the sniper rifle. I'm looking for um, a couple easy headshots here. I see him in my rocks. Malik gets a pretty good spawn. I am the distraction right now. And, um,. They will get a nice body shot there. As predictable as always, they're gonna drop down, chase me when they're one shot. And now we're only down by um, two. So, Leak, he's uh, taking the shots right now. I make that guy one shot, and I'm able to clean him up. Leak calls this guy out, unfortunately, he dies. And, um, like an idiot, he just teabags and he just gives me an easy kill. Right here, I do miss a lot of shots with the sniper, but. I'm trying to get, uh, I don't know, a couple Tied quick jumps. A couple of those shots did look like they should have hit, but they didn't. And Allure, he gets a nice double kill, and we are up now by one. We finally taken the lead because we didn't give up, because we knew if we played smart, if we, did, if we played patiently like we are right now, we knew we could win. And we're about to do that. So we got our P. I'm the bait. Allure comes around with the flank. Easy kill. Just gotta keep double teaming them, just gotta keep taking them out one at a time. And win our individual battles like that. We're up by three, there's no reason for us to do anything stupid, we're just... We're just shooting fish in the barrel right now. Malik I think he needs help, but he does get the kill. I see a guy going to jump, I call it out, and he's ready, he's ready, he sees the car. Just gotta keep the communication up, got a small talk. And you'll win, man. I'm telling you. I I'm hiding right here. He's the bait, and uh, he's he actually gets a nice kill there. So, he, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Let me pause. Let me pause it for a second here, as I pick up that camo. Press the back button. When I had when I had 11 kills, um, Malik only had two kills. So he's really stepped it up. Even though I have a lot of kills right now, he's definitely stepped up. He's our, our bait and switch, it just turned on and we were able to um, take the lead and we just caught fire here and I'm able to get camo and this is pretty much going to be the end of the game here. I'm going to leave that guy alone because the bigger prize is right here man, you got to take them the sniper guard, any chance you get. Just got to play patient, there's no reason for me to shoot. He doesn't know I'm behind him. Unfortunately I do whiff that melee and I am visible. But he is unaware or whatever, uh, and my teammate Alert is able to kill him. And that guy randomly pushes out Bond, get a killing frenzy, nice headshot, put some shots in for Alert here. And he's able to get the kill. One more kill left. Gonna back that guy up. Even if it's remaining. Let me pause this again. Another tip of advice even if you're winning 49 to 41. You have one more kill. You know that if you make a couple mistakes, you can still win. Play as smart as you were when you were down by 10. Because that is what has gotten you to the point of where you're at right now. Like, the, we've been playing the same the whole entire game. That's how we're up by 8 right now. That's how we were able to do this comeback. Don't change your play style. Don't just push stupidly if it's... Even even if it's like 49 to 35 or something, because they can easily kill all of you and get a spawn kill going. So you can push, but do not push stupidly. Just play smart and keep your teamwork up like you've been doing the whole game. So gonna start this up. See how we get this last kill. Lakes over there on hut, putting some shots down. I'm seeing the ring two guy. He's the distraction. I'm the main slayer in this situation. And he's, he's, he easily gets that kill. 
So, um, I know that we pretty much weren't playing against uh, really good people other than Ryan Noob runs, whoever that is. But um, I think it was just an awesome comeback. We were down by, um, I don't even know, we were down by 10? Let me look. Let me go all the way back. Let's see how much we were down by. We were down by 6. 6. We, we were down by... We were down by, um, set, I think uh, 7 or 8 is um, the highest that we were down by. But it's just amazing that we can... Uh, come back in a 2v4 situation like that and win uh, against um, the other team when they had camo control, when they had snipers and all this stuff. And they, they had ring control the whole game. If you watch this gameplay, we were honestly in ring for 1% of the game, if that. We were just around our rocks. We were bait and switching. It doesn't matter if you're in your base and their base. If you bait and switch, if you play the other team like a fiddle, you'll win easily. Just got to take it one step at a time. And um, that's what we did. And we got this uh, not an easy win, but we got a pretty good win here. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope uh, it inspired you. So when your teammates do quit out, even if you do have a random on your team and it's just you and your random, that you won't quit out that you'll try to work with him or her and um, try to get a win because when you get wins like these it just it feels great like it feels awesome to just win 2v4 and it just it motivates you and it makes you think that you can accomplish anything you can win uh, an easy like if this was 3v4 I don't even know what the score would have been but um, maybe the only time I'd say that you can quit out is when it's 1v4 because you don't really have any, way, any person to work with um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this. It was a uh, pretty good gameplay. I, it was awesome. We were we were amazed. We were we were freaking laughing at the end of this game. Uh, but if you want to see more of these videos, uh, drop a comment, uh, like this video so people can see. You know, share with all your social media. Uh, subscribe if you did like the video. Uh, if you have any feedback, please give it to me. I'm still relatively new to commentating. If you think I'm doing something wrong, if I'm saying something too much, please let me know because I really, really want to get better at this. And, um, yeah. So, let's see. I'm still working on my montage. It should be done by the end of December, beginning of January. I'm kind of procrastinating. But, um, it's coming together nice. I have almost all my clips figured out. All I got to do is cap them, which won't take that long. And then organize them which won't take that long either so um it's just the process that takes the longest is going into theater and going into those long 15 minute films and getting those 30 second clips you know what i mean but that's almost done so it's coming along and then afterwards if i do have time i will do the halo reach montage which will be a hundred and ten percent mlg clips this halo 4 one is kind of like a casual one just uh Reminiscing on the memories of Halo 4 and all that stuff. Uh, so I'm rambling now, but hope you guys did like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.